Hi, welcome to Automation Testing Dot In. Please hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to get the notifications. In this video, we'll see one of the interesting updates. Okay, what is that? Selenium four. Yes, Selenium four. Yes, Selenium four coming soon. So, as part of that, we'll see highlights of the Selenium conference, which is happened in Bangalore, two thousand eighteen. So, what are the highlights? So now from onwards, Selenium is changing to W3C standardization. Yes, complete W3C standardization, and no more JSON wire protocol needed to communicate to the browser. Okay, and the next new Selenium IDE. So after Firefox 55, there is no Selenium IDE for some time. Now they are bringing back Selenium IDE once again, and now it is available with new logo and uh, you can see the same thing here and now it is available with chrome and firefox presently it is in beta stage and still you can see when you go to the extensions of chrome or firefox and now you can run the same scripts using new cli runner that is command prompt and that is based on node.js and now we have a provision that you can run in parallel means you have parallel execution option with selenium ide also improved selenium grid and you can see the new logo for grid also and there are some thread safety bugs are there in previous versions so they are removing thread safety bugs and supporting for means better supporting for devops that is docker support and improved selenium ui grid and we already know that ui of grid is, is not very rich it looks like very older uh, html kind of so they are improving that also a new look to their website yes improved site with new ui and you can see the snapshot of that here you see their selenium web driver selenium ide selenium grid and here their first sentence that selenium automates browsers that's it what you want to with that power it's entirely up to you and refresh it documentation so till now we do not have any proper documentation for the selenium in their official website so they are writing new documentation so that you can see in this location seriumhq.github.io slash docs then that is also in progress but still access that link and you can see that what's going there few more points so in selenium for you can create your own custom locators and then if you already written your framework or code whatever it is in your project if selenium 4 comes there is no need to change anything if there is any changes it will be very 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 minimal and when it is coming so as per there it is releasing this christmas yeah that's it and i have covered some of the highlights in this from the conference if you still want to see i'll provide the link in the description you can watch the entire conference means the discussion in that video okay so now we'll see the this documentation you see that selenium documentation and it is looks very rich now you see that here you have documentation and the index introduction the ide installation web driver remote web driver guidelines worst practices selenium grid java support packages something like that very rich ui but it is not done it seems still it is going but this is what you can see that's all in this video thank you for watching this video please like us on our facebook page and please subscribe to youtube channel for interesting updates